Alrighty, final round. And hey, ha any hand with islands is a hand good enough for me. Alright, too many islands. Ooh. Could be against some fevered visions. Which actually is probably a tricky matchup. Especially when we don't have uh, prism rings. Going to be taking a lot of damage here. You. do have a Jason Sanctum. So we got that going for us. And Jason Sanctum is fantastic against this. But if we don't find a prism ring soon here, we're going to just be dead anyways. Wow. So Days Undoing actually saves us from being damaged. So we're going to have to start casting Days Undoings. If we're not already dead. Alright. Prism ring. Prism ring. So many cards, oh my god. Yes, sweet, sweet prism ring. So, do I want to take inventory first or leave my mana up? I think this is fine. Mm, actually, I probably should have. Nah, getting the life is good too. Alright. So we have an insubstantiate. So we got that going for us. Um, 
get rid of the land. Ooh, yeah. That's great. Oh, wait. That's not great. <laughs> Part the water veil. Not so good against fevered visions. So, if I sanctum and look to look for a day's undoing. But that doesn't even deal with this. But I think I need to get out the Sanctum for future turns. So I hope this hits a day's undoing. Uh, Warn and Gulf, I guess. Ow, ow, ow. So anything, anything Bernie kills me. Well, I guess not just an incendiary flow. Well, just an incendiary flow does actually kill me. All right. Mm, yeah since this can just get replayed. Hmm. Man, Fevered Visions, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Post board should get a lot better at least. Part the Water Veil, we don't want too many of because of the implications with fevered visions. Sanctum's great. Engulf in some number is going to be necessary. Imprisoned in the moon actually get deals with fevered visions. Although not effectively since they get to draw a card and such. Unsubstantiate is nice for emptying the hand. Um. Probably just get rid of the take inventories since they're too slow and leave me with too, too many cards. Like, I don't want to draw that many cards. Um, maybe another part since we're since we're going to try and empty our hand a bit better and be able to negate or clash the fevered visions anyways. Make sure we can deal with the creature onslaught as well. Alright, prism ring, thing in the ice. Good enough. So with this thing, with this hand, fevered visions actually is fine.
sure. We actually can use the card here. And Prism Ring is going to be uh, great. Great at mitigating the damage. So this is a good setup. We could part, but then we're taking two. So I think we'll just do this for now. Okay. And we definitely want it to just days undoing. No prism rings. Is sad. that back. You'd think the deck that's gaining life off of spells and reducing the cost of those spells would be better suited. <laughs> Alright, take another Sanctum. So next turn we can Sanctum and Engulf. Imprisoned in the moon is completely okay. There is a day's undoing. Which doesn't deal with either of these. If we were to go imprisoned in the moon, days undoing, so I think we'll we'll start by nagging and seeing what we find. I don't think we even want to anticipate. Sanctum's actually pretty good. So we could Sanctum, Nag, and then Days Undoing. Leave both of those, though. Might as well start with the Nag. Okay, Prism Ring, I think we'll take... Do I want to imprison an alchemist? Might just be better. It does give them land though, yeah. It's just imprison an alchemist. Alright, now now we're reaching critical ma mass of life gain and cheap cards. If 
Unfortunately, that sucks. That draw sucks, Reno. And golf is good, though. Here. Do not want all these lands stuck in hand. Targeting himself to get a new hand. Yes, please. We need to keep the uh, train of cantrips rolling. Hmm. I don't think I can afford to take that. I think I can afford to take that, although it's not great. Kind of relying on drawing something at this point. Not terrible. That's actually gains us life with only one fevered visions in play. Flash that for five. And take the unsubstantiate. Because it's cheap and a spell, and good with part the water veil. Okay, that's fine. Very interesting matchup. Does negate do enough at this point? Probably not. Just just dig deeper. Thank you, thank you. And the fourth prism ring. It's usually the fourth prism ring that does it. Uh, engulf. Get rid of, keep that. Every spell now just gains me so much life. I don't think there's any coming back from that. much does this cost? Uh, too much. Yeah, 
Yeah. So fevered visions actually kind of work to our advantage there. Maybe put more bounce in the on the draw. Days undoing. Um, didn't seem great, but also not terrible. Like it's not even very good against fevered visions. Um, I think I'll just go down to two days undoings. All right, game three. How how many rings can I draw? All right, our opponent's mulligan is six. We have thing in the ice. We have imprisoned in the moon. We we even have days undoing. I think this has got to be a keep. Mulligan's to five. Obviously, prism ring is the most important card, but can't. Mulligan. Eh, mulliganing is good against fevered visions as well. So maybe I should be mulliganing more aggressively. Fevered visions here would be great for our, our opponent. We could imprison it though. So this clock is slow on a mold of five. We obviously days undoing is not so great against a mold of five either. So our hand is matching up very poorly right now against our opponents. On the plus side they don't have fevered visions. Take a second one over the sixth land. Sure. So, we're actually still in a bit of a pickle. Still in a bit of a pickle. Sanctum isn't great, but we should be able to bounce everything now. Counter is a gigantic blowout. I 
So we could days undoing. Hmm. If we do that, though, we are we're bouncing everything, giving our opponent seven cards. We'll be at um, six against seven cards. We will have our mana untapped, so we could draw into uh, answers. I think we go for it since we'll have. Um, yeah, I think we should be able to pull it off. Uh, it's all going to come down to this day's undoing. Draw seven cards against the burn deck. Ah. Could also negate my own day's undoing. And then cast another one. Does that do anything? After attacking? That's almost reasonable. I actually don't even need to cast this the second one. So what kills me from Storm Chaser Mage? Incendiary flow isn't enough. Collective Defiance isn't even enough. Could have actually bought him that prism ring, because drawing a spell next turn would be the win as well. Alright, uh, now I like this, because I'm going to be able to prism ring, days undoing, and then uh, draw into things. Yeah, our opponent, oh, no, this isn't even a horror. So our opponent would be dead if we had a dug for a blue spell. And found it. They take it since... <laughs> If we had a blue spell, we would have just won, unless it's Day's Undoing. Uh, we, yeah, we would have won. Now it's in the heart of the cards. So... Alright. All we have is an unsubstantiate. So we're at a virtual 7. I think we let that resolve. Oh my god, the spell beats us. Ah. <laughs> no dispel. Whew.
Wow. What a game set match. That was insane. This matchup is crazy.